We've come to East Hospital in Shanghai, China to talk about biobanking, translational medicine, and more. It's another progress report. We're in Shanghai and I'm with Dr. Moon. Dr. Moon, tell us how this facility in East Hospital is doing great work and what the key areas of focus in your work is all about. This is the key laboratory of Arrhythmias, located in the China Ministry of Education. This lab has two sites. We are currently in the one based within the East Hospital. The lab combines clinical and basic research with the goal to better help patients and improve medicinal scientific developments. Our lab's main focus is arrhythmia, as well as various other kinds of heart and cardiovascular diseases, including heart development, hereditary heart disease, and other kinds of cardiovascular diseases. Talk about the biobanking focus and what you're doing. Our biobank is mainly used to store blood samples with a specific focus of arrhythmia. We all know that biosamples, whether they are tissue samples or samples from different stages of disease, can provide abundant information about human health and should be handled very carefully. Briefly speaking, valid sample storage and processing is very critical to our research and we will continue to expand our current sample storage capacity. We currently use refrigerators from Thermo Fisher Scientific as a beginning of efforts. Tell us how our technologies and innovations are really helping advance your work in the lab. The labeling system is the most important process for biobanking. The 2D barcode labeling system provided by Thermo Fisher has been a great help. In the past, samples were usually labeled with patients' inpatient numbers granted by a hospital. When the patient leaves the hospital for other treatment, or even when they return to the original hospital, the new samples will have to be relabeled with another inpatient number. In this case, the patient's samples during different periods will have separate irrelevant labeling numbers, which is very detrimental to our experimental research. It also brought difficulty for us while tracking the patient's condition. Now, thanks to technological developments and the 2D barcode system from Thermo Fisher, the patient now receives a unique code for lifelong traceability. This system from Thermo Fisher also allows us to store patient's data for long-term tracking and research. Thanks for watching another progress report and see more at thermoscientific.com.